The really common question that I'm getting from the beginners is they want to become a full stack developer. And they want to know if it is possible to become a full stack developer when you're just starting. This is why in this video let's clear it once and forever. My typical answer to this question is no, it is a bad idea to become a full stack developer when you are a junior. And actually there is a real reason for this. Actually to become a full stack developer, we are talking here about front end technology that you must learn and back end technologies. And additionally you might also get some DevOps stuff to deploy your application. Which actually means we are talking about quite a lot of technologies here. First of all from the front end side we want to know at least JavaScript, HTML, CSS and one of the frameworks, for example React, Angular or Vue. As a backend developer you must know even more technologies. First of all you must know some backend language, let's say it is Node.js and then we are talking about same JavaScript, but still JavaScript on the frontend and on the backend, these are different things. If we are talking about other language, then additionally to JavaScript on the frontend, you must learn another language on the backend. Then you must know how to build APIs, how to work with databases. And actually there are quite a lot of databases and you must know at least one or two, for example one relational, like maybe Postgres or MySQL, and one document oriented, maybe MongoDB. And additionally you might need to know different backend things like for example emitting of the events, or delayed operations, or maybe sending emails if it is needed for your project. Plus it might happen in the company that you don't have a dedicated guy to make all DevOps stuff, so I'm talking here about servers and deployment. And then a guy from the backend also need to do this stuff. And now you are telling me ok I am a junior, but I really want to become a full stack developer. Just look on the screen how many technologies you must know at least on some level to become a full stack developer. This is simply not a good approach if you are a junior. Much better approach is to focus on the one side, at least on the front end and on the back end. And you might say here, ok, but I really want to be a full stack developer. It is not a problem, you can learn these technologies later. But when you are just starting you will be simply overwhelmed with the amount of technology that you must learn. And if we are talking here just about backend or just about frontend, you just cut the technology that you must learn in half. And your next question here is for sure, ok, I got the point, but what should I focus on, is it frontend or backend? And actually I highly recommend you to start with the frontend, the question is why? And I have two reasons for that. First of all, frontend is much easier for people to understand when they are starting with programming. Why is that? Because actually on the backend you just see your terminal, you see some output in your terminal, or you see some logs in files. It is not fun and when you never did programming it is simply boring, you don't see what you've done. And if you are starting with frontend, then you see some page that you built, you see some buttons, some colors, so you really see some result of what you did and you can show it to other people. And the next reason is also super important. In all companies when we are talking about web development, they are using JavaScript on the frontend. Which means they have frontend and we have their only JavaScript. You don't have a lot of companies nowadays where they don't use frontend. But when we are talking about backend we have different languages there. We don't have just a JavaScript there like on the frontend. It can be Ruby, PHP, Java, JavaScript, whatever you prefer. The main point is that amount of companies where your specific language for the backend that you learned is used is really smaller than when we are talking about frontend. So with frontend you are getting 100% of the companies which are doing web development. With the backend you might get like 10 or 5% of the companies which are doing for example PHP. Which actually means the amount of developers which are needed for the frontend is much higher than for the backend. Because you simply have more companies where you can fill frontend position. And your next question here will be for sure, ok, I got it, I will start maybe with frontend. But actually the question is what language I need to learn later for full stack, so I know already not only frontend, but I can also work as a full stack. And actually here obviously it will be easier for you to start with Node.js and JavaScript in the backend. Simply because it is the same JavaScript language. Yes, it is completely different, we are talking about backend stuff, it is not related to the frontend. But actually you already know the language, this is why it will be much easier for you to start with JavaScript on the backend. 
But here is the one important point. From my perspective, JavaScript on the backend is not the ideal language to start and understand all correct concepts that you must use on the backend. This is why actually if you will learn full stack, I highly recommend you to look on other languages, for example on Ruby with Ruby on Rails or maybe on Python. They really have much better approaches to the code and frameworks than Node.js with JavaScript. And my last question for you will be, ok, but why do you want to be a full stack developer? And actually most people here are saying, ok, I want to be a full stack developer because I want to earn more money. And I hear that full stack developers are earning much more money than front end developers or back end developers because they are doing all this stuff together. And actually it is not true. It might be that full stack salary will be 10% higher than front end or back end, but typically they are super similar. And you actually can find front end positions that are higher paid than full stack because it is more needed. Also, typically you have full stack in companies which are not that big, because in the bigger company you have several people to fulfill these roles. You have at least one programmer for the front end, one programmer for the back end, and one programmer to work as a DevOps for deployment and servers. Which actually means from my perspective it doesn't make any sense to become a full stack developer. Yes, it is really nice and needed to know how all things are working not only on frontend side but also on the backend side, but from the money perspective it is not that interesting. And also if you are just a frontend or just a backend, you can focus on just one thing, on your part that you are doing in your team. If you are a full stack developer, you must cover everything and it can be really stressful. And also if you are interested in my 5 tips how to become a senior developer, make sure to check this video also.